I might actually have to do it this year because I'm obsessed with this idea, even though it's like, I don't know if it's like trashy, but I think it's like making trashy cute. Let's make Hot Mess Express cute again. Look at you all dressed cute for Halloween. You look so great. You got your candy for the trick-or-treaters, but wait, your phone's going off and you're invited to a Halloween party? And it's in an hour? What are you gonna wear? Well, lucky for you, I came up with a series where I went into my closet and made 10 Halloween costumes that you can make from your closet as well. And today, on Halloween, is no exception. So I'm gonna be showing you 10 more outfits that you can make out of your closet and attend a Halloween party in a pinch. So let's get started. The very first outfit I put together is either Roxy Hart from Chicago or Velma Kelly. All you need is a black flapper style dress and a pair of black shoes that look like either ballroom shoes or dancing shoes. I personally would like to do this one with no wig because I could do Velma Kelly, but you could easily do a blonde wig and be Roxy Hart or vice versa with a darker wig and be Velma Kelly. Such an iconic movie. The musical is obviously iconic as well. Such a super easy look, although I don't know if people would know on first glance what you are, but it definitely has like a very costumey vibe with that like big chunky glitter on that black dress. Super cute. Love it. Next we have is Misty from Pokemon. Like I said in other videos, I was trying to avoid just pulling straight cosplays. So this is what it would look like if I made Misty into a closet cosplay. A different pair of shorts, red suspenders, a yellow tank top, and I pulled all my hair to the side like Misty has. And of course, don't forget your iconic Converse shoes. I only have pink ones. I don't know why I don't have the red ones yet, but ah. And I obviously grabbed my Togepi, but this is a pretty easy Halloween costume that I think every girl actually has in their closet, if I'm being honest. I feel like everybody has a yellow tank top. Maybe not red suspenders, but you could get creative with those. So it's such an easy one in my opinion. Moving into our celebrity category, we have Sabrina Carpenter. I know there's gonna be so many of you going as Sabrina Carpenter for Halloween. The things you must have in this look is some sort of a microphone, would be super cute, a sparkly dress. Um, I like this teal one because it gives me Sabrina Carpenter vibes. And of course you have to make sure the dress has like a little heart cut out in the top of the chest area of the chesty besties. This one kind of naturally had one on its own, which is great. You don't have to wear a wig, but my wig looks a lot like Sabrina Carpenter's hair, so it was perfect. And of course you have to wear go-go boots just like she does. I'm having to awkwardly squat because I'm so tall in these shoes that I poke out of frame. Um, I actually have the real Naked Wolf boots that she does. You don't have to get those. Honestly, you could just get some like cheap go-go boots from Party City. I think this one's like a perfect 10 out of 10. It's so cute. You can easily tell who I am. I think you should definitely carry a microphone and that will definitely sell the whole Sabrina Carpenter vibe. Now sticking with the blonde wig, if you are naturally a blonde, you could also do Barbie. Barbie was a huge hit last year for Halloween, but I still think Barbie is a huge hit every year for Halloween. Um, I wore an iconic wig, so that way you could tell that I was Barbie. An all pink outfit, just like pink on pink on pink. Um, I even like grabbed a cute little like white bag. You could obviously grab a pink bag as well. And just some like fun accessories like sunglasses. Um, I just thought this look was so cute. Everybody at some point, I feel like every girl is dressed up as Barbie for Halloween at one point in their life. It's just adorable. I don't know upon looking at me if you would know I'm Barbie, but if you have some like Barbie trademark clothing items, you could totally wear those and get away with it. Obviously shoes, you could go any direction. I stuck to the iconic pink shoe, cause like, why not? So you'll have to let me know if you decide to go as Barbie for a Halloween party, cause I totally would love to know.
Okay, this one, hear me out. I think this is my most inventive Halloween closet costume yet. Nobody ever goes as the Charmin Bears on the toilet paper roll. Hear me out, they were a huge meme like two years ago where everybody was making fun of the bears and how their whole personality is wiping their bum. So just grab some like bear ears, a brown outfit with like cute little accents and then carry the toilet paper with you. And like, if there's a girl who's like crying in the bathroom or if you're having an emotional night, you'll have toilet paper to wipe up your tears. It's honestly, in my opinion, a win-win. I've never seen anybody go as the Charmin Bear before. I might actually have to do it this year because I'm obsessed with this idea, even though it's like, I don't know if it's like trashy, but I think it's like making trashy cute. Let's make Hot Mess Express cute again. So go as the Charmin Bear. Like, who's gonna say no? I've seen people go as Tony the Tiger. You know, go as the Charmin Bear. I won't judge you. Oh, and obviously for brownie points, you could wear fuzzy boots. Like, Uggs would be super cute with this look. Um, I just wore brown knee-high boots because they're super cute. But you could really be creative with it. You could wear like a little bear tail. Um, you could wear like a big fluffy jacket just to kind of add some more like fuzzy texture to your Charmin Bear. And they don't really have to match the exact color of the Charmin bear. Just like wear the barriers and you'll be good. All right, getting back to things that I think everyone will have in their closet. This is a either elf or a fairy outfit. All you would really need to sell the look is some elf ears or even just fairy wings. I feel like everybody has like a cheap pair from Amazon in their closet. And you could literally wear like any fantasy core top, a cute like little leafy skirt or shorts or anything. And then just wear like fun makeup and then do some really fun jewelry as well. And you will totally look like an elf fairy. Uh, this one to me isn't very creative, but I don't actually see a lot of like fairies or elves on Halloween. So you could definitely be iconic in your own way and you could be a cute little flirt all night and no one would even give you trouble. I also like wearing my Ren Faire boots with it just because it's super cute and iconic. So let me know if you decide to be a little fairy or an elf for Halloween. This one's a bit of an easy win, but if you are just scraping the bottom of the barrel, you could totally go as a cat for Halloween. I don't own a pair of black cat ears. I don't know why, don't judge me, but um, I have these Cheshire cat ears and you kind of get the point. All you would need is a pair of cat ears, a black dress, either short or long, whatever style you want, and some sort of necklace that kind of looks like a collar. That's why I went with this choker uh, because it really gives like cat vibes. You could even draw like a nose and little whiskers if you really wanted to complete the look. And you could give yourself a fun little like cat makeup look if you wanted to. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I really liked this outfit. I thought it was really cute, really fun, super easy. Is it a little basic? Yeah, but you know, if you got invited with like 10 minutes to spare, you would have a different outfit. So there you go. This one, again, is kind of a, a basic outfit, and I don't know if everybody will have this in their closet, but you could kind of cheat it. It's Alice from Alice in Wonderland, and basically you would just need like a blue or like this dress is like more periwinkle, um, and then you just grab a white, like long sleeve, like collared shirt, and you tie it around your waist to kind of mimic the apron that she has, and then you put a little black bow in your hair, and you're Alice from Alice in Wonderland easy. You could also um, wear a wig if you wanted to, but again, I'm trying to keep these a little bit more casual, less cosplay looking, so I didn't wear a wig for this one. But I still think you would get the idea that I'm some sort of like, oh, Alice, Alice in Wonderland, or like a popper version of a princess of some sort. I think the, the giveaways for this outfit, like what make it really iconically Alice, is the um, black ribbon in the back of the hair and the black shoes, because she definitely wears black little shoes like that. So food for thought. If you're a blonde, you could easily pull off Alice if you really wanted to. This is another iconic one that I came up with that I don't see a lot of people wearing. You could go as Hot Shaggy from the live action Scooby-Doo movie. I don't know if you guys remember, but Shaggy for some reason was like a hot 
girl. I don't remember why, but he he was Daphne, right? Or something? And like, you could be hot Shaggy. Who's gonna say no to this? All you would need is a green shirt, a pair of brown pants with, I wore a black belt, but you don't need a black belt. Um, and obviously you'd have to carry like a Scooby-Doo with you or maybe like your plus one could be Scooby. I think Hot Shaggy is super cute. I actually really like this one. I might actually wear this to a Halloween party just to be a little bit more casual. Um, I absolutely love it though. I just think it's so chill. I feel like everybody either has Velma or Shaggy in their closet, easily accessible. So be bold, be Shaggy, like go gender bent for Halloween. No one's gonna stop you, you know? Just be the Hot Shaggy that you are. Okay, so now I want to give you a unique twist on an outfit idea is going as an e-girl. Obviously, if you're somebody who's not an e-girl, this outfit might hit a little bit harder. I am an e-girl, so this one, you know, is pretty basic for me. But all you would need is like a black skirt with some black kitty tights and some sort of like black shawl that you could throw over like a pink or a yellow tank top. Also, don't forget your headset, your gaming headset or your switch. So that way people will know like, oh, you're a gamer girl. Also, brownie points if you put a band-aid over your nose just because it's like really the e-girl aesthetic. You can wear some fun makeup, eyeshadow to really sell the look. I'm honestly obsessed with this, except for I am an e-girl in real life and everyday life, so I wouldn't really wear this one because it's a little too on the nose. And Halloween's all about dressing up as something that you're not, but this is such a cute one um, for somebody out there who likes to play video games, but maybe their friends don't know that they like to play video games. So consider being an e-girl for Halloween. All right, and that is the last of my Halloween closet costumes that you could wear. Let me know which one was your favorite. There were so many to me that I really loved. And well, also don't forget, you can always go as the first one, which is taping a piece of paper on you that says this is my Halloween costume. <laughs> you could always do that if you really wanted to. But I challenge you to be a little creative. Go in your closet and make a new outfit out of something and have a good time at all these Halloween parties. Be safe, everybody. Be sure to be drinking lots of water. Stay hydrated. And I will see you, Dare Bear Cubs, in the next Halloween upload. Goodbye.